Whoa, hey, how's it going, guys? It's been a while. Sorry for the lack of videos lately. I've been caught up doing some work and stuff, which you'll all see later on, don't worry. But we back, so here we go. The long-awaited and super late Orn lore. Once upon a time, there was this demigod named Orn. He lived in some ancient volcano, forging a bunch of weapons all day and all night. The tools that Orn forges are of very high quality and only a few lucky people happen to stumble upon these OP ass items. Orn used to be very well known in the Freljord, but centuries passed, everyone forgot about him. Only a few people, called the Hearthblood, believed in Orn. They were a group of blacksmiths, architects, and brewmasters who traveled all around the world and gathered in this place called Hearthome. The Hearthblood created super strong tools, designed the sturdiest structures, and brewed the tastiest ales in the world. Orn just chilled there, secretly approving the group's perseverance and the fact that they were always trying to improve. But everything changed in one catastrophic night. Orn and his brother Volibear had a battle at the mountain's peak for a reason no mortal could comprehend. Fuck you. No, fuck you. The battle was fucking crazy. A storm of fire and ash and lightning so violent it could be seen ten horizons away. <sighs> I, um, I'm tired. Said. Okay, bye. When the battle settled, Hearthhome was a big ass crater in the ground, and all the hearth blood were reduced to scattered bones and cinders. Even though Orn wouldn't admit it, he was devastated. Orn felt guilty, so he retreated to isolation and buried himself in his work for centuries. Recently, Orn senses a great change is coming. Some of his siblings have taken physical forms once again. During the wars to come, Orn knows that Valyord and the rest of Runeterra will be in need of a good blacksmith. And yeah, that's how Orn became Orn. The end.